my name is Iris Franz and today we're going to continue to talk about consumer surplus. In particular, I want to show you how to find consumer surplus graphically. So graphically, consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve, above the price paid by the consumer, and the base of usually it's triangle, sometimes it's trapezoid, the base will be from zero to the quantity demanded in the market. So we have three scenarios. And the first one is perfect competition without tax. So suppose we have perfect competition, so this is your demand curve, that's your supply curve, and at the intersection you find equilibrium price. So without tax, the price paid by the consumer will be equal to the price received by the seller. So you can see the area of consumer surplus is below the demand curve, above the price, and the base of the triangle here is from zero to the quantity demanded in the market, which is just equilibrium quantity Q star. So you know how to calculate the area of a triangle is a half times the base times the height. So the consumer surplus is triangle A, B, P. So that's the simplest case. Now what happens if you have a tax? So um, suppose um, you've already learned tax, then this is for you. So we know the tax really is just a wedge between the price paid by the consumer and the price received by the seller. So that's a tax. And in that case, the price paid by the consumer will be higher than the price received by the seller. Why? The difference is taken away by the government. So in that case, you know your equilibrium quantity will be smaller and your consumer surplus will be equal to the area below the demand curve, same, above the price paid by the consumer, PC, which is higher than the price received by the seller. And the base of the triangle is from zero to the quantity demanding the market, in this case is Q star. So that's the second case. You can see with tax, consumer surplus is less than before. Without tax, your consumer surplus is higher. But with tax, your consumer surplus is not smaller. Now suppose you're in the international trade class, then um, you have import. Then we can see that this is a demand curve, that's a supply curve, and uh, your international price is PI, which is lower than the local price, and therefore we'll have import. And after we have import, you can see that the international price is PI, so quality supply is only here, and quality demanded is higher. The difference will be your imports. And your consumer surplus will be the area below the demand curve, above the price paid by the consumer, which is not international price, PI. And the base of the triangle is from zero to the quantity demanded, which is QD. You can see it's larger than QS. So your consumer surplus is triangle EFPI, so EFPI. So that will be a much bigger triangle. So that's what happens when we have imports. Now you can take a look at our um, consumer surplus. It's the same thing. It's the area below the demand curve, above the price paid by the consumer, and the base of the triangle, sometimes it's trapezoid, is from zero to the quantity demanded in the market. I hope this helps and good luck with your studying.